Hey guys, so a lot of you watched my video. A <clears throat> hundred thousand of you guys. Thank you for that. And in that video, I didn't do a lot of detail on exactly the steps that I used to create my AI summary bot, what the AI summary bot does. For those that didn't watch the video, I basically paste in a transcript from a YouTube video, send it to OpenAI, which is the guys that made ChatGPT. And then I use Eden AI to turn it into an audio form, so a text to speech. Uh, a bit unnecessary and then I send that summary back to Telegram and basically that allows me to take the entire script of a YouTube video and condense it down into a very concise beautiful description that I can put below my YouTube videos and it tends to summarize things way 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 better than I could. So without further ado let's jump in and go through this step by step. So over here we have the finished scenario. It basically, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like here. It starts off with a trigger. That's where we're going to put in our input, i.e. the transcript from the video. This is OpenAI GPT-3, which is gonna be the AI summary. Then the summary is gonna go here to Eden AI, and Eden AI is gonna take that text summary and turn it into a speech uh, using, it also, the back end is Google. And then lastly, I'm gonna send a Telegram message back to myself on Telegram from a bot. I'm gonna show you how to do everything step by step. So let's check it out. If you guys haven't signed up for Make already, please do so, it does help support the channel. All right, so starting off, we've got a blank canvas over here. What we're gonna do is click this little plus and we're gonna type in tools and we're gonna select tools and basic trigger. So basic trigger just lets you sort of do a manual, um, a manual input. We're gonna call this video and summary goes here and save that. Right, first step, trigger is done. So when we're ready, we're gonna basically paste in our video summary there. Next, to add another module, we just click over here, and the next module is going to be the OpenAI. OpenAI GPT-3, and then we're gonna select Create a Completion. Once this is loaded up, you might not have a, a connection already. I do in this case, but if you don't have a connection, you're gonna to have to go to Add, and then you're gonna to have to put in your API key and your organization ID. Your API key is gonna come from this URL. You have to sign up to OpenAI and you'll be able to create a new key and then take that key and paste it in there. And then it also asks for your organization ID, which you'll get from here, OpenAI account organization settings. Take this code over here, which is hidden from you guys, but you'll be able to copy that and you'll be able to go back and paste it in there. Click save, you can give it your own name, uh, say your personal name plus connection, and then it's gonna look a little bit like this. What we wanna do then is select the model and it is going to be DaVinci 003, which is the most powerful version of the AI at the moment. Right, then we're going to add the prompt, which is just going to be video, but what I did in the prompt as well is I added something to this. So I wanna put this in quotation marks and we're gonna do a bit of prompt engineering. So I'm just gonna pause while I type it. There we go, I've written it out. So it says, please create a summary of this video transcript for a YouTube description. Keep it to less than 200 words and write it in first person. Then I've got the video, which is basically going to be the script bit that so summary goes here, it's gonna go there. And then I've just put it in inverted commas. Max tokens, I'm gonna to put it at 1000. There is a limit, so you can't do an unlimited long video transcript. So if you have something over a certain length, it's probably not gonna work. I think chat GP, uh, the OpenAI has a 4000 token limit uh, based on input and output, So, but this should be enough for our example. Then I'm gonna leave everything else as is and select okay. The next module that we're gonna do is called Eden AI. Uh, in the video that I showed, that in my previous video, I used Google Cloud uh, speech, uh, text to speech, but that requires quite a lot of setup. So, so what we're going to do is quick text to speech, uh, convert text into speech, easy. If you don't have a connection, you're going to select add, and you're just going to go to this URL, 
here, app.edenai.run, and you're gonna grab your API token from here, and then you're gonna go bring it back, paste it in here, click save, and then it's gonna look a little bit like this. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take from our output of the OpenAI, I'm gonna put this text in. So this is the text that's gonna get turned into audio. Uh, I, Google and AWS, I believe, are the cheapest providers. And I want it to be English. And I want it to be male. And then select OK. The last thing we want to do is send it to ourselves on Telegram. So I'm going to get a Telegram bot. Open that up and send myself an audio file. Now, if you want to add a Telegram bot, what you need to do is select Add. Then you need to come over to this channel. Also, the link is in the description. It's called Botfather. We're going to start. You're going to go new bot. And then we're going to call it Andrew Forte bot. And then a username. It's got to end with bot. It's got one. And then as soon as you've got that uh, done that, grab this token copy that, bring it over to here, paste your token in and click save and then it'll look a little bit like this. Once you've added your Telegram connection, we're going to need your chat ID and this is the ID that you wanna send your uh, message to. So you need to find that. Uh, to do that, you need to go to user info bot on Telegram, click start and basically once you start, you're gonna get your username and your ID. Copy that ID across. We're going to put that chat ID in there. Then file name. I'm just going to leave it file name for now. And then the data is going to be this result. I want the audio. However, there is something special that we need to do. They send it, uh, I think it's, uh, it's some sort of co encoded. Uh, so we need to go to here, to this text and binary functions. We need to go to to binary, do this, and then in this to binary is where I'm gonna put the audio output. And then I'm gonna put a little uh, semicolon, and then I'm going to put base 64. It's just a type of encoding that they use to send the data, and we just need to decode that so that we can actually have it in an audio file. Everything else, uh, caption, I do wanna put in. I wanna take it from the AI module and I want to take the raw text. This is the same text thing that we're sending to Eden AI over here that's going to get encoded into a voice. Uh, message thread, you don't need to leave. All of these things are pretty stable and okay to leave as is. And that is pretty much it. The only thing we need to do now is to get a summary of a YouTube video. So let's jump in and pick a video. All right, so here we are in YouTube, and this is where I'm going to grab the transcript from my video. Uh, no, I don't need to get it transcripted. YouTube's going to do that for me. I'm going to go to show transcript, and you can do this on any video. You can also search within the video for some text, which is really handy. But I'm going to copy all of this text, copy that, and I'm going to go back to make and open up this basic tool. I'm going to paste in that there, so the value. Select OK. So that's got my entire YouTube transcript in that basic trigger. Now, all you need to do is say run once. So it's gone from there. It's now going to send it to the AI to summarize. Now it's gone from there. It's come to Eden AI and then it's going to be sent to Telegram bot and if I go into Telegram and have a look there. Just a quick interlude, I would like to thank Make for sponsoring today's video. Without my sponsors, I wouldn't be able to make all these videos all the time, so I do really appreciate it. And to the guys at Make, thank you very much. I always enjoy this opportunity. And right back to the video. All right, and as you can see here, I when I select Missive Play. I every day to manage my emails across multiple accounts and businesses. It's an AI-powered email client that helps me reply to emails quickly and easily. It has saved me loads of time by not having to BCC or CC anyone on my team and keeping emails private. Missive also has some great... So there you can see I've got a perfectly concise and descript, uh, description of that entire video. 
And all I'll do is copy this, paste it into my YouTube description, and uh, there you have it. What you need to do still on make is to make sure to save your scenario. And now this is always gonna be available to you. Some things you can just to go uh, all out on here is you could actually change this basic trigger to anything you want. So you could use a telegram, send a telegram message to a bot, take that script, summarize it, then turn it into speech. Uh, also, just on this, you could completely take away this text to speech because it doesn't really serve much purpose besides like um, being able to listen to it. And also sometimes I don't always just use this for descriptions of YouTube videos. Uh, you can actually change it so you have a creation, a completion here for the open AI, which you can give it any instruction plus the script, and then it can give you an answer back, but in audio form, uh, which I wanted to use for like news summaries and things like that. So you could take this out, you could do a uh, WhatsApp if you've got that connected. There's quite a lot you could do. You could send it via email and get a response via email, and that's the beauty of Make. It really does allow you to use any of these apps that you want to be able to connect it. You could use it Google Sheets. Anyway, I've gone on enough. It's a really cool feature, it's a really cool tool, and hopefully this helps some of you guys out there today. If you are interested in signing up for Make, please use my link, it does help support the channel, and obviously uh, it does help when you guys subscribe and leave a like and leave any comments, and I'll hopefully be able to answer your guys' questions as soon as possible. And that's it for today. Until next time, cheers guys.